and we've got some history in this battle of AFL alumni. It's the Cincinnati Bengals and the Miami Dolphins, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. It's had many names, but only one NFL team over the years. We're at the home of the Dolphins, Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. Yeah, I think the word of the day, Kate, is definitely experience. Two yep. guys who've been through the season several times over have seen a lot at this point in their career and been through quite a bit on the field. All that experience is stored up there right between the ears. <laughs> and the one who is more skilled at leveraging that experience more than likely is going to come away with the win. Jason Sanders is out, ready to kick this one away. And we're underway at Hard Rock. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So here come the Bengals, ready for their opening drive. They're led out by a motivated player coming off an injury. One of the game's great young QBs, Joe Burrow. When Joe Burrow's between the white lines, he's one of the game's best and most entertaining quarterbacks. He just has a cool factor that is the envy of so many. Nothing seems to bother them other than some injuries that unfortunately have ended seasons early. When he's on the field, timing, the anticipation, Kate, the precision with which he plays, he has very few peers. Throwing on their first play. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. The analytics will tell you a handful of these kind of plays per game and your odds per drive of scoring go way up. A jolt to start that drive. They're up near the 45-yard line. Burrow. In the hands of Kasiki, complete. And he'll cross the 50 and start pushing onto the opposing side of the field. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Slot man in motion left. From just shy of midfield on second down. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. He specializes in salvaging broken plays out of the backfield, but even he couldn't get anything out of that one, Kate. That defense, they were all over it. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Back now, pressure on its way. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And that leaves them with a decision to make on fourth and short. As a defense, you've got to see the pass. You've got to time up your hit, and you've got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. No return on this one. It's going to make it out of bounds and across the 25, spotted at the 24. So here come the Dolphins as they get set for their debut series. They'll be let out by the fifth-year lefty out of Alabama, Tua Tunga Vailoa. To his early career, yeah, it was known for injuries. Maybe not being as durable and as available as you want in a top-ten pick. But the last few years, he's taken great strides to rewrite that narrative. Remember, this was a guy that rewrote the record books in Hawaii, won a national championship at Alabama, and nobody questioned the accuracy of that left arm. It was just the availability, well, that he's had to rewrite, and he's done a heck of a job. And he's going to be tackled after getting it up to the 28. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get gains like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Second and six now. He throws a bullet to the center of the field. Oh, he nearly starts the game off with a pick. Just couldn't hang on to it. 
Good defensive play, though, regardless. That's going to bring up third down. You hear defensive coaches preach this all the time about not giving up the big play. Keep everything in front of you. They're going to need to stay vigilant because he's definitely a receiver who can take the lid off of a defense. They'll throw on third and long. He won't be able to make the catch. It's incomplete. That one missed the mark. And that'll bring up fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? Well, they chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Now it's Jake Bailey who's out to punt this for the Dolphins. He'll field this one at the 34. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. So a change of possession here on the punt. Cincinnati headed back out for its second drive now. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. Good starting field position awaits the Bengals as they get set for first and ten. Throwing off the play fake here. Looking right, and he finds him. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Big gainer here as he picks up 20. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. If they get a handful of these types of plays per game, the pass game coordinator is going to be one happy camper. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Oh, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty tight end. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 28. He's got it. Room to run. And he takes this one nearly to the red zone before going out. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. Still on the move. Coming to the line for first and ten. They go and play action. And oh, someone stepped in. It's intercepted. Picked up. Kendall Fuller. And the Dolphins get the football on the first turnover of the contest. You can see it right off the snap. They got a really good read on where that was designed to go. Having that extra defensive back, that nickel coverage, so critical on that interception. Give that defense coordinator some credit. Had the right plan, the right personnel. These guys on the field made the right play. Now we're going to see the Dolphin offense for their second drive of the contest. And they haven't gotten their legs under them on offense just yet, Brock. Three plays and a punt on their opening drive. Drive starts out with a first and ten. They send Hill right. Get the fullback involved here. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. He finds him 16 yards and a new set of downs. Kate, don't think for a second this is time you step off the gas. You can feel this defense, right? They're on their heels. And now is the best chance to go push the envelope and get aggressive. First down, ball at the 36. Tunga Vailoa back to throw. He's on the move. He's going to pull this one down and run with it. Well, this is in every quarterback's tool belt. Even the ones not regarded as the best movers and shakers. But, Kate, to play QB in the league today, you've got to be able to do this. If you've got nobody open, still get some positive yards with your legs. 
Second and six coming up here. Fakes the handoff, now to throw. He's got a man wide open, complete. And he works this to the 38 before going down. They managed 22 on the rip and a first down. Well, he saw his guys pick up the blitz. Well, he felt them pick it up anyway if he wasn't looking at them. But with their effort on his behalf, I think this QB felt owed to them. And the group up front to find somebody to get a completion so that effort up front wasn't in vain. New set of downs for him at the 38. They go play action on first. Got a man open, complete. And they can't bring him down until he gets into that red zone at the 19. It goes as a gain of 19 yards. And it'll be first down Miami. When you throw that comeback route versus zone, you have to see the underneath defenders. It's frankly easier, Kate, to throw it versus man-to-man. -man. You know where everybody is. But in zone, you better trust your eyes underneath. And when you do, there's completions like that to be had. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Working inside the red zone. This throw is caught. Jalen Waddle touchdown. So Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset even in early in the game that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Jason Sanders to try the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Sanders all set to send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. He's got a lane up past the 30. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Cincinnati offense headed out now. And we'll see if they go right back to the passing game here, coming off an interception they threw in enemy territory. It's a new set of downs for him at the 32. Interception last drive doesn't deter them. They're going right back to the air. Open receiver caught. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the big play has him well into enemy territory and field goal range. They're inside the 30. Play action on first down. Got a man. Coverage lost him. Complete. And he drives this forward to the six. And even 20 yards on the play, and it awards them with a first and goal. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. From the red zone now. And he's going to score. Touchdown. 
touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals cut it to a lone point on the scoreboard. There sure was a lot of trust on that play, Brock, and he proved worthy of it with that end result. Yeah, good old receiver. Someone who just knows how to get it into the end zone is worth his weight in gold to a QB. And on that throw, there was trust there that he had a shot to find Pater. Evan McPherson on to try the extra point. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. on to handle the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. The Miami offense headed out there now. And after watching their passing attack take them the length of the field last drive, Brock, I expect we're probably going to see a heavy dose of the aerial attack again here. They're out and set, first and ten. Here's Tua. Got his target, it's Hill. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. Following that completion, medical staff headed out for an injured player. We'll see what the nature of his injury is. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Staying between the tackles with Moster. And he's tackled for a short game. Give him about three yards, and now they're going to have third and five to figure out. To throw Tonga Vailoa. Able to find a chance. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. This dude just simply got a nose for the marker no matter how they get him the ball. Kate, hand it to him, and he sniffs out that first down. Get it to him on a screen, and it's no different. He surges ahead and keeps this drive moving. New set of downs for him from the 46. Now two with a throw. He finds the open man there, complete. And he'll go out of bounds after a pickup inside the opposing 40. That's 16 on the pickup. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Well, that's a game that has its roots in preparation during the week. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday kind of stuff. Identifying ways to target the coverage and creating opportunities for big completions. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. Back to Hard Rock Stadium right after this. Back for the start of quarter number two. It's Dolphin football as we begin. They're looking at yet another first and ten on this drive. Completes this one to Hill. They rip off a big check of field and it sets him up with first and goal. He just made a difficult throw to the outside look elementary, Kate, and that's not easy. The placement, excellent. And it helps set his target up to put some more yards on that stat sheet.
Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Back to throw, Tua. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Tua looking to throw. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins caught any the interception in the points. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, the position could be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Out comes the offense for the Bengals. They've got a chance to tie this up here as they trail 14-7. Get this drive started. First and ten. Throwing his burrow. This one taken in by Chase. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. As a quarterback, when you throw that curl route, you know it's a tight window, Kate. But the minute that DB turns and can't react to the throw, you put it right on your receiver's numbers. He comes back and gets it and moves the sticks. Looking to throw, Burrow. <laughs> Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. The defender's not going to be thrilled. The catch was almost made on his watch, but more importantly, he breaks it up. Gives him a chance to do a little giant after the play. Let's the other guy know he roughed him up and cost him that catch. Second and ten now. Short pass caught by his tight end. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, you just find a way to get him the ball. Shotgun now on third down. Complete beyond the marker. And they make the tackle at the 38. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. New set of downs for him at the 38. Burrow back to throw. And he moves the chains. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now.
A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. Burrow setting the throw. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals can tie it up in the second after cutting into the lead. It's a Jamar Chase touchdown. They were throwing for it there, and they didn't care who knew about it, Bronk. And it turns out, hey, nothing was going to stop them either. Yeah, there's something about an empty formation. You are declaring to a defense, other than QB draw, this ball is going to be in the air. But at the same time, you also force the defense's hand. There's only so many coverages they can play, and they just exposed them. McPherson at the point after. That one right down the middle. And we're all knotted up. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. His return starts at the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. The Dolphins offense ready to go as they take the field. And they're coming off an excellent series throwing the football that led to that touchdown, Brock. So you and I both expecting that defense to be looking for that on this series. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Throwing now off play action. This one's taken in by Hill. And he's going to be out of bounds just before reaching the 30. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. They bring a tight end in motion right. The give here on second. And this one doesn't go far. Two yards on the pickup, and that leaves him with third down and three. Well, no spring in a big play on that one. It's just going to simply be used as a setup play, whether that's another run or eventually what I love, setting up a play-action pass off that counter-action. Third down from the gun. That's caught for the first. And he'll get it up to the 44. They gain 14 on the play. And it'll be first down Miami. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Shotgun snap, they're going to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he will score, touchdown Miami. The Dolphins take a second quarter lead. It's a Jalen Waddle touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Yeah. Period, end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. One splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead.
Sanders all set to send it away. This return stuck to the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. And we're all hoping his hot start can continue. He has been putting up some numbers early in this contest. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Takes the handoff, now to throw. Got a man open, complete. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. I love everything about that play, Kate, so much for a quarterback. When you throw in that crossing round, it's imperative that you lead that receiver. You don't throw where he's at. You throw where he's going, and when you do, yards after catch follow. So as we all recover from that last play, it's first and ten near the red zone. Here's Burrow. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Back now, pressure on its way. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Well, Kate, that wasn't a fast enough break for the interception, but it was good enough and a good enough break to break on the ball, get a finger on it, and force the incompletion. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Burrow. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it. And he protects himself with a slide there after a decent game. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, tick. You know, his internal clock right there told him it was time to escape, and good thing he listened to it. He was able to make something out of nothing and at least move them forward. And on fourth down, out comes the Bengals field goal team and Evan McPherson. It's a 34-yarder from that right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And it's dropped back down now to a four-point game. You always feel like you leave a few points on the field when you kick it from here but they don't wind up empty-handed on the drive. And the kicker, he gets to pad his stats a little bit with the high percentage make. We've got a good one here. They've cut the lead to four as they send it away. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. The Dolphins are headed out there alongside Jalen Waddle for this next series. They really have the passing game clicking on that last touchdown drive, partner. We'll see if they stick with that or if they mix things up a bit on this series. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Tua setting up to throw. Beckham there to grab it. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Kate, when Bill Walsh was implementing the drag route with the 49ers in the 80s, it sounded the same way as it did with Mike Holmgren and me with the Seahawks in the 2000s versus man on a drag route run away. You see zone coverage, settle down, give your quarterback his numbers, and you can find a completion just like that. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Taken in by Smith. And they're going to bring him down just on the other side of midfield. Big gain, 14 on the play. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Sometimes you're looking to push the ball down the field. 
But as I've said before, the crumbs lead to a cookie. And you never go broke taking a profit, and those big tight ends will often find you those easy check down yards. We've hit the two-minute warning now at Hard Rock. The Dolphins pushing for a bigger lead before halftime. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Here's Tua. Chan reels it in. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle. When you call a screen like that, Instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Here's first and ten from the 34. Now two at a throw. He's fine Smith. And he's brought down at the 17-yard line. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And it'll be first down Miami. You'll often hear it said, in my life experience, it's true. The NFL is a game of matchups, so much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. From the red zone now. This throw is cut. And he has it down in the eight-yard line on the play. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Throwing it again here. And the Bengals are too much. They take him down. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. Bend. Bend. Even good defenses, great defenses in this league, Kate, they're going to bend at times, but you never want to break. And when you get a sack in the red zone, well, that goes a long ways to helping your efforts. So a tough spot now. This is third and nine. Tunga Vailoa now. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins will add to their lead at the end of the half. Tyreek Hill, the touchdown. So an absolutely beautiful throw there, finding his man in space who turns it into six. Yeah, they really took advantage there, Kate, of some soft coverage. You want that on that corner route. Plenty of space for that route to develop. Great execution, and it pays off with the touchdown. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. First and 10 now with all the 15 seconds left to utilize in this half. Yep, as expected. They go to the ground to start this one off. And into a sea of bodies he goes. Looks like they'll get about three out of it. So we've reached halftime down here in Miami. The Dolphins have the lead. 
Now it's up north to Orlando for a look around the league. We've got Jonathan Coachman and the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Dolphins got some strong play out of their quarterback number one, Tua tunga -Vailoa. He was on point repeatedly, ultimately finishing with four touchdown passes in those first two quarters alone. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Dolphins are back on offense. Tua Tunga Vailoa out there once again. And he has to be happy about his game. We're checking some of the highlights right now that he's made so far. A good showing that's seen him in the zone from time to time. And also, he's just seen the field well from his spot in the middle of this offense. They're out and set. First and ten. Back to throw, Tua. That one's incomplete over the middle. Couldn't connect with Tyreek Hill. And it sets up second down. Can't cover it much better than that really well-covered Kate on that play. There just simply was not a window for him to sneak that throw in. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Tunga Vailoa back to throw. Falls to the ground out left, incomplete. Not on the same page that time. And things look tougher now with third and long. That is a DB's best friend, pressure. That pressure earned that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target and hit him to alter that last second attempt to get rid of it. Third and long for him here. Four snap to his right. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. I think his decision making wrote a check that his legs couldn't catch this time. This QB could run. And he's ranging, looking for space, looking for an outlet. But there was none to be had. No escape route available this time. So the Dolphins readying for the punt. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. Starts from the 44. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Officially a 55-yard launch. And the Bengals are set up quite well for their next possession. New set of downs for him from the 46. Now Burrow. Moss holds it in. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. This running back is a mismatch maker. <laughs> That's how I label him on my little sheet right here. Right under his bio, this guy just creates matchup nightmares for every defender on the field. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. He had arrived as the ball did to break things up. So it'll be second down. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. 
Second and ten now. He finds the open man there, complete. And that play is brought to a halt, they're going to say, at the five-yard line. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets them up with first and goal. You throw it in the middle of the field, it's all about anticipation and accuracy. I mean, those are the two keys all the time in my book, Kate. But when you throw it in the middle of the field with all of the traffic, that's where guys with great anticipation and that tremendous accuracy come to life. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Working inside the red zone. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals start the second half with some needed points. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. And now the Bengals offense still on the field. We'll see them go for two. He's throwing for it. And they get the two-point conversion. Nice catch in the end zone there. They're back within a field goal now. Critical two-point play there, Brock. The conversion puts them now in range of tying this sucker up with a field goal. So different for everybody in the building, right? A three-point game, and especially mm. different for the kicker. He wasn't needed there, but get yourself ready. Your defense does the job. You may need a game-tying field goal at some point soon. set up and it's away just a three-point game now return coming from the six and he's brought down the offense will come onto the field and he'll be happy to keep letting it fly as much as he has all game look at these numbers they show just how effective he's been in captaining this offense They'll get this drive started. First and ten. A tight end in motion now. They'll run here on first down. And he runs into a wall there. Multiple defenders ready to stop him cold at the line. No game there that time, and it's second and ten. I know these DNs love to get to the quarterback. I know that sacks many times equals a bigger payday. But doing the dirty work, playing the run well, that's what the best of the ends do in this league. Back to throw. Here's Tonga Vailoa. He's on the move. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This is a time where you get in that huddle and you just look at one another and say, hey, let's get back in rhythm. Get back in rhythm. Get something good to feel good about. Sure, you'd love to get the first down, but more than anything, just find a positive play after a huge sack. Got to figure out this third down here. Tua looking to throw. He lobs it up, looking deep to the right side. He shot down field, the wind up incomplete. Trying to find Jalen Waddle. So that brings up fourth and long. The trajectory of that ball changes while it's in flight. I'll tell you this, Kate, on shorter throws, these receivers are so good to adjust, can still bring it in. But over a long distance, a tip like that alters the course of the ball, and it sure makes it tough to adjust in time. And the sunlight's not a problem for him. He looks up and makes the fair catch. 
The Bengals and Jamar Chase about to take over on offense once again. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. Ball at the 33 for first down. Trying to throw here out of the gun. Rifles it, and it's caught. And he's going to be brought down at the 42. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Throwing now off play action. Open receiver, caught. And he's going to score! Touchdown, Cincinnati! The Bengals just need two snaps to steal the lead. It's a Jamar Chase touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. So that, Brock, an important score here as they move out in front. You know, Kate, this is the time of the game where fatigue starts to set in every once in a while. But that right there was a determined-looking drive. They were not going to be denied and able to score and take the lead. McPherson at the point after. That one splits the uprights, and they'll continue adding to their lead. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Here's a return from the seven. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. This offense headed back to the field, led by their receiver. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they'll give it to him inside. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Stopped right at the line, but might as well have been a loss of yards as far as the offense is concerned. It's always humbling when you try force versus force and the defense wins out. Taps it quick to the receiver coming across. And they'll only let him get up to around the 28 before taking him down. While that play was going on, we see that one of their teammates shaken up on the play. Not quite sure what happened, but they're out there to tend to him. Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. Off the play fake. He's going to throw. He has the first over the middle. And he's officially in enemy territory now. And they're going to give him the opposing 49. A big play. 23 yards to move those chains. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Yeah, 
Here's a give inside to Mostert. And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. Second and 12 behind the sticks. Nice pass complete over the middle to the tight end. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. That'll go for an 18-yard gain. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. Play action on first down. Real in at the seven. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins take a third quarter lead. It's a Jalen Waddle touchdown. His third through the air this game. Three touchdown catches in one game is rare air, Brock. Safe to say most guys who retire can name every time they did that here in the NFL. Yeah, I hope he remembers it, but also remember this. Receivers, they're a dependent position. Mm -hmm. They're dependent on the guys doing their job up front. They're dependent on the quarterback. So we've got a stoppage now. Figured this might be coming. We're going to take another look to see if this was indeed a touchdown. Ooh, it doesn't get much closer than this, Brock. Did that ball in any way break the plane of the end zone? You know how I like to look at this, Kate? Imagine a plane of glass going from the front end of that end zone straight in the air in any part of the ball. Any part of it just touches the plane of that glass, and this is a touchdown. So after a second look, they say he did not break the plane. No touchdown. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Throwing now, Tunga Vailoa. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one, Kate. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back on track. So the incompletion on first, here's second and goal. They'll try and punch it in. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. But with a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. So now, here's third and goal. Here's Tunga Vailoa. Down he goes. The Bengals got to him. Good pressure from the defense there. Has them trending in the wrong direction. There's just certain times you get a feel, right, Kate? You do this long enough, you kind of get a sense and just know these two teams are going to be fighting and clawing for that lead. And that sack, well, for me now, you can't afford to go for it. We'll put some points on the board and salvage what was a promising drive. Fourth down, and on comes Jason Sanders for the Dolphins' field goal. A very short kick here from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that cuts the lead back down to a lone point. Well, that's the type of long, sustained drive that takes some of the starch out of your opponent. The only negative is that the kicking team was out there for a field goal and not an extra point. But they do come away with three. Things trim back down to a single point, Brock, as they send this off and away. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And this will give them decent field position. The return gets out to the 30. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over.
First and ten now from the 30. Throwing is Burrow. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bad. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. They'll throw on second and ten. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. T. Higgins, the intended receiver. So they're left facing third and long. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. Here he is on third and long. Couldn't connect across the middle. It's an incomplete pass. This one misses the tight end. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. The Bengals send out the punting unit. And this will be his second effort of the contest. And he's just going to fair catch that one at the 24-yard line. The offense returning to the field now as we get a look at their wideouts. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Now Tungavailoa to throw. This one's taken in by Hill. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You know, kid, over the years, I have heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush your passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Putting the tight end in motion. He's got it to him yet again. That is caught. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's Dolphins' ball, and they're sort of in comeback mode. They trail to start the fourth. Slated downs to approach here from the 40. And he's got a free play here. He finds OBJ. And he's tackled with markers down. This one should be on the defense. Easy call for the officials there. He was offsides at the snap, and that's going to cost him. A bit jumpy across the way there, and that halves the distance ahead of him on first down. Now they send their back in motion right. Stays in the pocket. Well, the pressure nearly got to him, but still a good play defensively as that one falls incomplete. Well, that's one you chalk up to the pressure earning that incompletion. They came in before he could find a target, hit him, altered that last second attempt to get rid of it. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to throw. Tua. Trying for a touchdown here. And he will score. Touchdown Miami. The Dolphins take a fourth quarter lead. It's a Jalen Waddle touchdown. His third through the air this game. We've seen him do a lot more to reach the end zone on a catch, Brock. That one, that one was kind of fed right to him. Yeah, they say the running backs have a nose for the end zone. You know who else does? <laughs> Every skill guy out there yeah, because right. they want to put a touchdown on the board.
So now a big spot for the Dolphins here as they line up for two. Tunga Bailoa. And he has it inside the end zone. That's going to add two to their lead here late. That's about trust. Trusting your QB is going to make the right decision on these crucial scoring plays. He found his read, and he made the connection for two. Sanders all set to send it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. So now here comes the Bengals on offense. Still time to go, Bronk, but that touchdown has him down now seven. They've got to find the end zone here. Trailing by one score late here, Kate. Maybe this is the return. Maybe this is what helps them get right back into it. Good field position now to start their most important series yet of this game. Ball at the 33 for first down. Looking to throw Burrow. Short pass caught by his tight end. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in a loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Offense to the line for second down. Here's Burrow. Complete out to the right side. And he'll get it up to the 44. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. Time and again, receivers will tell their quarterbacks, just give me a chance. Just give me a chance. Just throw it up and give me the opportunity. Well, in this case, with even two defenders trying to cover that wide receiver, couldn't get it done. Burrow setting the throw. On target to his man, Higgins. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They gain 14 on the play. And it'll be first down, Bengals. It takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness, to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while, you know you could take a lick at any time. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. They'll throw it again. This one taken in by Chase. And he's marked down, looks like, at the 32-yard line. Well, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Options are open here. It's second and inches. From the 32, he sends this one to the end zone. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals get it down to a single point. It's a Jamar Chase touchdown. His third through the air this game. So they punch it in for six, Brock, and now a conversion away from tying this game back up. This one just has the feel, doesn't it? The makings of a one-score game in the fourth quarter that could go either way. So a chance to tie it up again here in the fourth. That one right down the middle. And we're all tied up. Here's McKinney. 
McPherson on to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. They're out and set, first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And he found some running room for a nice game. Give him nine yards, he almost moved the chains there. It's gonna be second and one. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, I think, feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. From the 35 on second down. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to get this up to the 45 before he's brought down. That's a pickup of nine. And it'll be first down Miami. Well, they got him down before he could do any more damage in terms of yards. That's no easy job, mind you, tackling a big tight end. But the main damage had already been done. He kept this drive going by getting beyond the line of game. Ball on the 45, first and 10. They go play action here. Down the middle, complete. And he's able to get this down to the 36. They pick up 20 yards there. And that's going to give the Dolphins a first down. to throw. Here's Tonga Bailoa. A-Chan reels it in. And nothing doing on that run. Defenders bottle it up quickly. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way. And that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot. Second down coming up. Second and ten. Need to get some positive yardage here. Tunga Vailoa back to throw. Complete to Beckham. And he's brought down a little short. No, actually they do give him the 10-yard line. That one goes for 25 yards. And it'll be first down Miami. Working inside the red zone. He brings it in. And he will score. Touchdown, Miami. The Dolphins take a fourth quarter lead. Well, this has definitely been a tight one throughout, Brock. So now that they've taken the lead, the question becomes, can they hold on to it? And that question right there is one the defense has to answer. But this sure had the look of a drive where a coaching staff challenged that offense, saying, hey, we need a big drive from you guys right here. And sure enough, that offense delivers. Yeah, no doubt. Extra point attempt coming from Sanders. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead.
Sanders all set to send it away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And he's been reading the coverage, dare I say, Brock, even better than his quarterback has all game. I mean, he just continues to find openings and make plays in this second half. Drive starts out with a first and ten. His fourth receiving score of the game. And that is his fourth touchdown reception of the game. And if you wonder how rare that is, only a couple of active players have ever achieved it in their careers. And it's been done less than 50 times in league history. for the PAT and a make would tie us up late that one right down the middle and we're all knotted up on to handle the kickoff. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. This game has already been a good one for him, Brock. And hey, there's still time he could add on even more. And you just feel his aggressive mindset all game long. As long as there's time left, he's going to want to keep on firing and turn a good performance into a great one. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll begin with a quick completion to the right side. And he's going to be brought down up at the 28-yard line. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Trying the right side. And it's a really nice gain on the reverse. That call came at the perfect time. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that they love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle... It prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger, but that back remains hungry. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Free play here. Let's see what he does. Escapes the pocket. He keeps it and takes off. And he slides down, but we got a flag on this play. Pretty easy call to make. He lined up offsides, and now he gets a talking to from his coach. Offsides call helps him out. It's only five yards to go now on first down. To throw. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's tackled with a first down yardage. Look up contested catch in the football dictionary, and you'll see that. I mean, I can't critique the defense there. They're in the hip pocket of that tight end. 
But these contested catches, these tight ends that can separate with their hands, utilize their body, even when you're covered, you're not. Take it in by Smith. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. And they've got themselves another first and ten. They motion the slot man right. Throwing now. Open receiver caught. And he takes this down to the ten before hitting the sideline. That goes as a gain of 25 yards and picks up the first. Part of the reason I leave you pregame, Kate, and get down to that field and watch these guys throw and catch is I want to see their timing. I want to see their anticipation. That is picture perfect right there. A crossing route thrown that quickly tells me these two are on the same page. On first down, they'll run. And he's able to bring this one down to the four-yard line. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. As they'll meet and decide what to do on this second down. They'll go again with Mostert. And he runs this one in for the touchdown. The Dolphins have taken the lead late. Raheem Mostert, the touchdown. So how about the determination there? This game has been as hard fought as you will see. But they grab hold of the lead here with a late touchdown that may just win them the ball game. You could almost feel them saying, Kate, we don't want overtime. Let's go yeah. out and get it done now. They accomplished their goal. But you do have to ask the question, do they leave too much time on the clock? Stay tuned. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Sanders all set to send it away. His return starts at the five. Find some space. He's past the 30. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. And he hasn't been a stranger to the end zone this season. No, sir. Including on their prior drive, Brock. A pretty important touchdown for him when you look at his season total. They've got first down from the 31. Here he is to throw. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. 12 yards on that play and a good call nets him the first. Bengals have to move here. Clock's running as they hustle the line. Now to throw. And it falls incomplete. Went for the deep ball there, but just couldn't connect. Not on the same page with his tight end. So it's second down coming up. You know, there's not a lot of tight ends who are true weapons this far down the field. And not a lot of cover guys who can match up with them in terms of size. He tried to get it to him in a spot where he could win it. No connection to be made. Looking to throw it. Quick hitter complete. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. The final timeout taken by the Bengals. 
And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Chance about the chains here on third and four. Setting up to pass. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, Kate, they say a dog is a man's best friend. And a tight end that moves the chains on third down, that's a QB's best friend. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. He'll look to throw it. He's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. One final shot here. Need this to force overtime. And we all saw it. Flag came out just before that one fell incomplete. They may still get some big yards out of this one. Ball game is not over just yet. Don't leave those seats. The interference call means we're going to have an untimed down here. Back to throw. And the Dolphins are there to bring him down. So in the end, it's a Dolphins win here. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So that'll do it for this one. With Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. The Dolphins, your winners, as we say so long from Miami.